So let's talk about this. All right. Um, when we talk about distance between two planes, the common sense idea must be uh, that the two planes are parallel. Agree? Huh? So they should look a bit like this. There you go. This is a bit ugly plane. One more time. Huh? Uh, so there you go. P1 and P2. Okay? So they are parallel, and now you are interested in finding the distance between the two planes. Okay? Uh, there are a couple of ways you can do this. Okay? Uh, mainly two ways. Alright? Uh, method one. Okay, which I shall call yeah, involves using the origin. So we use the distance uh, from origin to help us. Okay? So this distance from origin it basically goes to solve one very simple question. And the question is this. If I have a if I have a plane, alright, that is called P1, okay, uh, that has got the equation of R dot let's say one, two, three equals to four. Okay? And obviously origin is not on the plane. Uh, by the way, since we are at it now. Uh, how do I know whether the origin is on the plane or not on the plane? Anyone? Uh, something is zero. Yes, very good. I am so glad to hear that. Okay, so one, two, three, go to four. So if this is four, obviously means that the origin is not on the plane, right? Because when the four is zero, then you know origin is on the plane. Okay, so subtle, subtle information like this, I think uh, is useful that we know. So obviously the origin is somewhere else. Let's say it's here. How do I find the distance between the origin and the plane? That means this distance here. Correct, how do I do that, right? So the idea is, actually, it turns out it's not that hard because um, since I have the equation on the plane, I can actually find any random point on the plane. Agree? So let's find a random point on the plane. Can anyone name me a random point that's confirmed on the plane? Come on. 0 to 0. That's a very good choice because got so many zero. I like. Do you all understand Winston's choice? I think I like this enough as well, right? How about another one, for example? Quite easy. One zero one. One zero one. Oh, that's good. Okay, and the other one, obvious one, will be four zero zero. Oh, okay, ah. Uh? So there are so many possibilities that you can choose. And of course, you just choose one. And it so happened that it turns out that if I want to find this length, all right, it is actually the uh, let's call this a. How about that? Okay, it's actually the length of projection of O A onto the normal. Agree, ah? Uh? Okay, so O A on the normal. So since I know this a, right? So my O A dot n cap uh, n cap of course will be this 1 2 3 and then uh, 1 over skirt 14 agree and that gives me my 0 2 0 uh, dot 1 2 3 eh? sorry sorry 1 2 3 and that gives me 4 over root 14 are we all comfortable with this idea can so this is how we find the distance from the origin to a plane any questions uh huh. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, one, one at a time. Uh, yeah. Um, it is another point, right? The answer will be the same. Four mm. is also yes, yes, you're right. Absolutely right. You all understand what Chun Xing was asking? Uh, even if you choose another point that's of a different coordinate, it's fine. Okay, you end up with the same distance. Yeah. Uh, sorry. sorry. Repeat what again? Like how to get a OA. Oh, any any coordinate that you put inside, you get four. Uh, that will be your any point that's on the plane. So for example, like 0, 2, 0 will get, give you 4, right? Because if you take 0, 2, 0, you can dot 1, 2, 3, you get 4, right? Yep, uh, so that's why 0, 2, 0 is a, po is a point that's on the plane. Okay, so now, yep. OA dot. OA dot n cap, because this is the normal. This blue line here is the normal. So it's the length of projection onto the normal. Okay? I thought OA dot n cap will get the, the distance between the two dots. No, 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 that is the cross now. You must understand that this normal you have, uh, the vector you have. This one you also have. So when uh, both vectors you have, when you do the dot, uh, when you do the projection thing, uh, uh, it is the dot version. Uh, uh, whereas if you want to find this length, then it's the cross version. Uh, remember the right angle triangle. Uh, okay. Alright, now, uh, you think this is easy? It's okay, right? It's not that bad, right? Now, uh, i got good news for you. Can make this even easier. Okay, now how to make this even easier? Now pay attention, huh? Alright, now you say that, uh, okay, Mr. Ang, uh, this relies a lot on finding a point that's on the plane, so I then ca I can do my OA dot n cap, right? Because it's the projection of OA onto the normal. But what if I cannot find this point? Or rather, what if I don't want to find this point? 
Is it possible to do this? The answer surprisingly still yes. Okay, you still can do the projection and end up with the same distance. Okay, how do I do that now? First of all, it goes a lot to uh, understand about this formula. Okay, to, to understand a little bit more about this formula. Why I mean is this. This formula is actually r dot n equals to a dot n. Are you all familiar? Okay, so this is how we get the form, a dot n. Now, what is the meaning of a dot n, by the way? Well, it's just any random point. Go and dot the normal. Agree up? Uh, then we end up with 4. Now this any random point is not any random point anywhere, it's any random point on the plane. So this A could jolly well be your 0 to 0 anyway. Agree? So any point that's on the plane, you go and dot the normal, you surely get 4. Okay? Now, uh, bear in mind what do we want, right? What we really want is this distance, which we know we'll get by doing the length of projection, which is A dot N cap, where A is any point that's on the plane. Agree? Now, and you need to understand that a dot n cap is actually simply a dot n and then over mod n. Agree or not? Right? Because it's just the uh, n cap means the unit vector of n, right? So a dot n, even without doing the, the dot product or not even being able to find the point a, I will be able to find because that's the number 4. So it's basically just 4 over root 14. Because the mod of n is just this mod. Okay? Can? So suddenly it becomes even easier. The red color, if you understand, good for you. Blue color, if you understand, better. Because faster, isn't it? You don't even need to waste time going to find the point A. Just take the right hand side, divide by the uh, mod of the normal, you get the distance between the origin to the plane. Okay? Now, then you say, uh, Mr. Ang, wait a minute. Why are you talking to me about distance between uh, origin to the plane? I'm actually interested in the distance between two planes, right? Right? So then we say, okay, now. Uh, let's imagine our pi 1 has got the same equation here and pi 2 uh, r dot 1 2 3 of course they must have the same normal right uh, let's say this is negative 3 okay so now then you say oh, okay I got pi 2 can I do the same to find the distance between <coughs> origin to pi 2 okay so the, uh, the, the, have the idea is that yes you can so the distance let me just write out uh, distance from O to pi 2 will of course be the same formula right but this time around is minus 3 over root 1 to 1 uh, 14 okay over root 14 so far so good but of course we all understand that distance cannot be negative oh so it doesn't really quite make sense right so we mod it then we get the distance of 3 over root 2 root 14 okay so the distance between origin to pi 2 is 3 over root 14 the distance between origin to pi 1 is 4 over root 14 so what is the distance between the pi 1 and pi 2 uh, so this one I think we went through in class before okay so the idea is uh, you need to be aware of where your origin is right meaning to say if your origin happens to be in the middle uh, then this distance will be your 4 over root 14 then this distance will be your 3 over root 14 correct and if you want to find distance between them you add then that's the correct answer make sense mm. but what if my origin is not in the middle and my origin is somewhere out here right then the distance from pi 1 to the origin will be this distance and then the distance from pi 2 to the origin will be this distance and then the distance between them will be the big one minus the short one agree huh? so how do we overcome this problem okay so there are again uh, now uh, uh, it so happened that there are two ways for you to handle this okay so come pay attention all right one way is of course we pay attention to the original sign that means to say uh, we don't get mod it all right uh, think of it like being displacement so remember your number line right displacement so if your O is here being on the right side this is positive displacement uh, being on the left side then this is negative displacement so we think of it like you neg distance cannot be negative but displacement can right so if we have one positive one negative it means that one plane is on the right the other plane is on the left make sense so think about it this way uh, if the sign are opposite that means origin is in the middle if the signs are the same, that means both planes are on the same side and therefore origin is not in the middle. Can you write it down? Okay, sorry? Can you write it down? Uh, usually don't need. La. You can just therefore get the answer. Because not that many marks on this kind of question. But it hasn't happened in the A-level before. So if there's anything to be quite interesting to find out la, if it comes out. Okay? Another, another way uh, to not think so much, that means to say, wow, Mr. Ang, this displacement thing is uh, very confusing for me. I really cannot understand this displacement thing. Then how? Got another way, thankfully. Uh, another way is this. You just take whatever you have, 
Don't go and mod it lah, understand? Because the moment you mod it, you screw up everything ah. So whatever you have, that means the four over root fourteen. Uh, you go and minus, and then you go and mod it. Okay, meaning you say let's call this d one distance one, and the original thing as distance two. Uh, regardless of who is positive and who is negative, or whether both are positive or both are negative, uh, this formula always works. Okay, uh, you can just take this minus this. All right. Uh, think about it. Why? Uh? Okay. Because now let's think. If both of them are like this, different sign. Let's say they are different sign. Uh, uh, you take this one, go and minus with the negative of this one. What do you end up doing? Adding, right? Mm. How about if I take the negative one, go and minus this one? You end up also adding, but it's the negative number. Agree? Uh? Isn't it what you want? Right? Because if one positive, one negative, this is what you want to do. I right? add, right? Mm. How about if both of them are actually positive? So you're going to take the big one minus the small one. Make sense? Because you end up with the difference. And because both of them are actually positive to begin with, the origin is not here, the origin is down here, somewhere down here, right? Uh, then you will want to take the long one minus the short one, agree? Yeah? Huh? What if you take the short one minus the long one? Doesn't matter, you end up with negative only, right? but you're going to mod it anyway. So you realize that this formula is quite powerful. Huh? Ah, so out everything. Basically everything is done. Uh, you don't even need to think about positive, negative, or whether where is the origin and that kind of thing anymore. Okay? But uh, I think the displacement idea is not that hard, not that complicated anyway. Are you all following? So far so good? Alright, now this method one. Anyone blur? I hope not, okay? Because I think most of you who are here long enough, I'm quite sure I nag at you more than once before. Okay, so this method one. How about method two? Uh, method two is the one that is a little bit more commonly seen. Uh, in, in many uh, school teachers, uh, their, their workings and all these things. So let me perhaps just show you. All right? It's using projection uh, and it's not that hard. Eh? Sorry, yeah. <laughs> I think R dot 1, 2, 3 equals to 4, right? The other one, uh, pi 2, R dot 1, 2, 3 equals to minus 3, right? Or was it minus 3? Yeah, okay, good. Alright, uh, so how, how do we find the distance between the two parallel planes in this case, okay? Uh, what they did was this. Now, we are going to find this length. So the idea is, if I go and find a random point on pi 2 called B, I go and find a random point on pi 1 called A, random point, uh, then I just join them up together. I, okay, never mind, let this point be here. Okay, uh, I just go and join them up together. I get this vector AB or vector BA, it doesn't really matter. Agree? Uh, what I'm going to do is, you realize that this length I'm interested in is actually the length of projection of AB on the normal. Make sense? Not that hard to visualize, right? The only problem is in the exam you don't have this diagram only. You have to figure out the diagram yourself. Okay, either through imagination or either that you just drew it yourself. Okay, so uh, point A, needless to say, just now we have so many of you giving me the correct points, right? Let's choose uh, 0, uh, 0, 2, 0. Okay, how about point B? No, how also right? 0, 0, minus 1. That's what I will choose. Okay? Okay? 0, 0, minus 1. Then I got AB. I can go and find my AB vector, which is OB minus OA. Yes? AB on M is the same as BA on M. Yeah, yeah. I mean projection. Huh? Yeah. Doesn't matter because AB or BA is just a vector and it's fixed. Right, so whether you AB project onto the normal or BA project onto the normal, you end up the same shadow. Okay, yep, so this is my AB. So the length I'm looking for will be this dot n cap. Okay, of course, that has to mod lah, because distance cannot be negative. Lah. So we end up with negative 4 minus 3, negative 5 over root 14. And after we mod, we get. 5 over root 14 and that is precisely the same answer as what we will get here. Okay? 5? What the shit? Yeah. Uh, 4 plus 3. Uh, 4 plus 3, 5. Thank you very much. What nonsense is this? Okay? So 4 plus 3 is uh, 7. Yep. Okay? Can? Uh, so, so it's the same same uh, answer obviously because it's the same planes. But my point is the methods are different. Okay? Are you all familiar? Okay? Uh, so far, A level hasn't come out something that tests you on this yet. Okay, but I think it's a good thing that all of us are familiar with. Alright, 